Hey everybody, welcome to JLB Sports TV. I am Justin Block and I am back online. Hurricane Sandy sort of messed with the schedule a little bit. Uh, we didn't have power to the editing computer back home. Uh, power has been restored, we have internet back. So I'm back now, we have the green screen behind us. Everything is good and everything is even better because Liverpool took three points at home against Wigan Athletic today. Now going into the match, leading up in the week, uh, Roberto Martinez kind of fanned the flames a little bit saying, oh, the Liverpool job is mine. I declined it because I wanted to build a legacy at Wigan. Which, you know, sort of went against what Liverpool said when they hired Brendan Rodgers. Because, you know, John Henry said, oh, Brendan Rodgers was our guy from the start. We always wanted Brendan Rodgers, Brendan Rodgers, Brendan Rodgers. So that was kind of a weird dig that Martinez took. Um, we'll talk about that a little later. But um, going into the match, looking at the lineups that I saw, I was thinking, what has Brendan Rodgers done? He has made a mess of it. We have freaking uh, Andre Wisdom starting at right back. Suso is playing centrally in sort of a 4-2-3-1. Um, Jose Enrique is that left man, like what is going on here? I don't even know. Um, one positive I did like that um, Brendan Rodgers did was he actually put Raheem Sterling on Andre Wisdom's side. We all know Raheem Sterling, um, great attacking winger, but he's also terrific in defense, likes to track back, makes the tackle to provide, to provide some uh, little cover for Wisdom on that right side. But still, um, Liverpool were frankly horrible first half. This is one of the worst first half performances, if not the worst I've seen out of Liverpool all season. They were completely toothless, I don't really know what else to say, you all watched the match. Um, Liverpool didn't really have anything going for them, and frankly Wigan kind of bossed it. Wigan not only outpassed Liverpool the first half, but they also had the lion's share of the possession as well. Right before the first half ended, Brendan Rodgers said, oh, to hell with this. Um, he took Suso off out of his central role and put Jordan Henderson in. And from that point on, Liverpool reverted to their more natural 4-3-3 with uh, Gerrard and Henderson playing in front of Joe Allen. And I thought that was a great tactical move. Clearly Suso through the middle wasn't working out that well. And um, Joe Allen was kind of struggling in midfield. Liverpool were getting dominated in midfield. And this is the third game in a row that Joe Allen hasn't had his best display. You put on Henderson, who's a similar player, a passer, somebody to help control the game, um, give Joe Allen some help, stabilize the midfield, and Liverpool will go from there in the second half, and it all paid dividends. Liverpool were kind of thrown a bone um, on the first goal. Raheem Sterling dispossessed the Wigan player, um, made a great run, great pass to Suarez, and brilliant finish by Suarez. Um, scored his ninth goal, later he scored his tenth goal, he's now the number one scorer in the Premier League. Um, but like I said earlier, Liverpool were thrown a bone on the first goal, but you know, Liverpool have had all their easy chances, they've been you know, thrown bones all over the place. They've had opportunities, they've had these easy chances, these easy opportunities, and they haven't bit down, they haven't finished them. So um, no matter what the chance, I'm just happy that there was a clinical finish from Liverpool, great movement, um, good stuff. Also, it's finally good to see some good passing out of Liverpool. I've been waiting all season long for there to be a good goal from open play. Many of Liverpool's goals this season have actually come from set pieces. And, um, you know, basically all of them have involved Suarez. This one involves Sterling, Suarez with a clinical finish. Um, good passing movement, just great goal to see. And then again, on the second goal, Jose Enrique. Um, I don't know what else to say about this guy. Last match against Chelsea, he was popping up all over the place. Um, I didn't think he did that well in the beginning against Chelsea. Um, came on strong at the end. You'll n I'll never knock a guy for trying to get himself involved in the game and working hard. Enrique did that last week. He did that again this week. Um, I didn't even know really what position he was playing other than he was a sort of, I don't know, a free back. He was sort of in left mid, um, on the left wing. On the Suarez goal with the assist he provided, he was actually playing centrally. Um, I guess Jose Enrique plays everywhere now, but like, for, seriously, who, who is this guy that um, has been replaced with Jose Enrique? What has happened to Jose Enrique? I don't, I don't know. Brendan Rodgers has done something with him, clearly, um, because this new player in place of Jose Enrique is just killing it right now. Getting involved, making passes, um, just getting you know, involved in the game as much as possible, and he got the goal at the end. Um, terrific job to get on the end of a deflection. There are only two players in the squad that would have the tenacity or the drive and the desire to really fight and get on the end of a tricky ball like that. And their names are Luis Suarez and Jose Enrique, and Enrique got the goal. Now, I'm just happy to say that Brendan Rodgers definitely got his tactics right in the second half. Um, completely outmanaged Roberto Martinez in the second half. Although the stats overall for the game, um, Wigan still outpassed uh, Liverpool. Um, they had more possession, but here's the kicker. Liverpool had um, about almost 50 more final third passes than Wigan, so Wigan were totally toothless. Wigan were totally toothless, they didn't really know anything about the second half, and uh, Martinez really refused to make any changes, while Brendan Rodgers made the necessary changes at halftime um, to ensure that Liverpool would go on to win. It's been a while since I've said this, but Liverpool have finally gained three points at home in the league. <sighs> Feels really good to say. And um, now, looking ahead to the future a little bit, up until the January transfer window, we all know this half of the season was really about um, you know, surviving until January, until Liverpool can get in enforcements and get in strikers. 
Um, looking at the matches that Liverpool have coming up, Swansea City next week, then Tottenham, then Southampton, then West Ham, then Aston Villa, then Fulham, then Stoke City, then Queen's Park, and then boom, January transfer windows opens. Now, out of all those teams, who actually really scares you out of that? Um, Swansea, uh, Southampton, West Ham's doing all right, I guess. Aston Villa, Fulham, Stoke, Stoke, uh, Queens Park, um, maybe Tottenham. You know, it's the biggest name out of those um, teams that we play. But Tottenham have actually lost four of their last five games. They're not doing too well right now. So these are all very winnable games that Liverpool should take maximum points in up until January. Strikers will come in, whoever. I'll do a separate January transfer window video, and um, Liverpool should be set for the rest of the season. I don't want to look too far ahead like that. But, um, you know, it's always good to project into the future. So that's it for today. Um, I'm Justin Block. That's all for today with JLB Sports TV. Give me your thoughts on the match down below. And um, have a good day, guys.